Come join us at INL's Evil Laboratory, the Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Laboratory, and the Battery Testing Center, one of the nation's leading facilities. Let's check this baby out. Electric batteries are changing how we live our lives, including how we drive, listen to music, work, communicate, and even power the device you're watching this on. Everybody wants to be traveling around with their electronics. As long as we can get you know, high power out of the, and high energy out of the batteries, the applications are kind of endless in, in, in technology. This lab is primarily focused on electric vehicle battery research, powering a revolution in how people travel and commute to work. The idea of being transported around by electricity, it's, it's a pretty phenomenal idea to not have to go to a gas station um, and be able to just cruise around in an, in an electrified vehicle. It's so cheap to charge here in Idaho that it's just, it's just a fantastic choice for price. To drive to work, I, I spend like two bucks a month or three bucks a month. Research at the lab is helping drive significant improvements in the electric vehicle industry. The Biden administration wants 50% of all new vehicles sold to be EVs by 2030. Here at the Battery Testing Center in Idaho Falls, engineers can test hundreds of batteries at once, providing real-time data and results to companies across the United States. This is our bat lab, we call it. It is a, a area where we do all the electrochemical testing of batteries that we either receive here at INL or develop here at INL. Uh, we are kind of a one-stop shop for developing new materials for batteries and implementing them for the future state-of-the-art batteries. The center also tests commercial batteries to model their behavior, extend their life, and determine how long they last at different temperatures and conditions. We can really fine-tune and understand what's happening inside the battery that's causing it to fail or to perform well. We go all the way from looking specifically at the materials of the battery and how they're interacting, how they're aging as we do the cycling, all the way to how a pack itself, as we have thousands of layers of this material that are combined and then they're put into cells. And then in that you have multiple cells that are put together to form a pack. The engineers at Idaho National Laboratory test batteries of all sizes ranging from cell phones and key fobs to large electric vehicle packs. If we're doing fundamental research, it's more about discovering new materials and how they are interacting in the battery's chemistry to provide higher power, higher power and more energy so that we can go from 300 miles per, per charge up to you know five, 600 miles per charge. Barnes's team is working to develop new lithium metal batteries that can deliver the same energy as current lithium ion batteries while reducing battery weight. It's really exciting to know that you're at the forefront of what could be available for technology in the future. As you can see, it's a, a pretty large facility that we work at in here and uh, we have all these chambers that you're seeing are keeping batteries at certain temperatures and mimicking such things as we'd see in real life, right? Um, and, and so like the aspect chambers, they're environmental chambers. We actually can change the temperature at which the battery is operating or seeing conditions. So is it really cold? How is it performing with cold weather? How is it performing in warm weather? Those type of things. Should you be charging between 100 and 0% or should you be charging between 80 and 40%? We go from single cell batteries that we test inside these small chambers all the way to these very large chambers where we can control the temperature and actually fit a car. On another team, scientists and engineers work at INL's Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Laboratory, or Evil Lab. We get to call ourselves evil scientists. Here at the lab, we do a lot of testing, evaluation, and development for electric vehicle chargers. Today, more than 170,000 public electric vehicle chargers are available at charging stations nationwide. More recently, we've been working on uh, helping improve the reliability of charging stations. That, you know, hey, I drove my electric car. I was not able to get a charge at a charging station. I showed up there, it was not working. The goal is to make the electric vehicle charging experience as reliable as refueling your car at a gas station. It's still a relatively new industry. It's only four or five years old uh, in terms of mass market uh, production and deployment. So it will take some time. There are some growing pains. The lab also researches new innovative technologies such as wireless charging, vehicle to grid applications, and charger cybersecurity. Your phones today have wireless charging, most of them. You can just put them on a charging pad and they can receive power without having to be plugged in. So the same technology exists for electric vehicles. 
and uh, we did a lot of initial testing for that, or helped with the standardization of that technology. Now your vehicle battery can also be used as a backup battery for your home, potentially feed back to your grid, uh, supply power uh, when, there, when there's a need for uh, more power without having to like uh, increase generation at a power plant. Today, more than 4.5 million electric vehicles are on American highways, roads, and infrastructure. INL is on the cutting edge of developing the electric vehicles, batteries, and infrastructure for the transportation of tomorrow.